Well, they are getting ready at the stripe. In 2019, Trevor Baptiste was named the Paul Cantabene Faceoff Athlete of the Year. In 2020, that honor went to Joe Nardella. That's the matchup at the stripe tonight. These are the numbers the last time they played, and Nardella immediately wins the opening faceoff. But he is demolished and surrounded by Atlas players, and Atlas come away with the ball. What a pickup. The whips are complaining that that shot by law hit the side of the cage and, and should have generated a restart, or reset rather. I think it's a legitimate gripe. Yeah. Bornlor made an effort with it, with his feet to try and stop it, but I'm not sure he ever made contact with it. Either way, it is a 1-0 lead for Atlas Lacrosse Club. And a violation for Nardella. Points and three turnovers week one against Archers, albeit nobody really had a good game for Atlas week one. Yeah, you just kind of throw that one away. This ball's up for grabs after Nardella was unavailable because of the face-off violation. And it end oh, Matt Rambo. Oh, he knows me so well. <laughs> And another face-off win for Whipsnakes. It is Nardella beating Baptiste on that one. And the win over Redwoods, 23 goals in the last full season of PLL. What a play that was by Danny Logan. Still Whipsnakes. To kind of change the angle. So by reach, by jumping and then reaching up, he's able to kind of get that over the top of Burlor. Goal and an assist so far for the rookie Jake Carraway. Our first lengthy lockup here of this battle between Nardella and Baptiste. And just as Nardella picked up the ball, it was going to be awarded to them anyway. Let's bring you under the helmet with that opportunity. Nardella jumped. It's not often you hear a coach complaining about winning five of the seven faceoffs in the first quarter but he has a point. Baptiste has this one to start the second quarter, though, for Atlas. And Baptiste feed. Let's hear from Brian Cosby. Brian, in Maryland, have two goals. How does it feel to be doing this at home? It's awesome. You know, I haven't, uh, since I've been a professional, my family hasn't been here to, you know, watch my game and everything since the bubble last year. But I'm just so grateful to be here, honestly, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Are they all here? Can you see them? I don't know where they are, but, I mean, I don't see and the crowd just adds to all of that here for week three of year three of the Premier Lacrosse League. Face-off win for Trevor Baptiste. Three points last week in the game. He has three goals here in the second quarter, and it's a chance for Baptiste off the fake for Jay Carlson. He was the garbage man last week against Cannons, cleaning up everything in front of the net. Uh, this was a little different for It is a 6-5 lead for Atlas. Two and a half to go here in the quarter. Nardella and Baptiste battling again and a little help from the wings and a quick timeout for Stagnitas Collins. And there you saw Bacaro, the playmaking ability. You know, he's matched up on a short stick. His ability to go big little and become a distributor. You know, those two obviously have a ton of chemistry going back to their days in Georgetown. Been on the sideline all weekend here with us here from Baltimore. First of five games this weekend, first of two for both of these clubs here on the weekend. Three-goal lead for Atlas and Baptiste is at it again as he comes up with the first possession of the second half for Atlas. Looking for the shot clock, because if you miss that, the shot clock stops. You can then substitute your personnel. So it's a really smart play by Earhart. Earhart is with Corey. Michael, huge play. Can you just walk us through what happened? Uh, you know, great throw point for Jeff T. Well, had that not been counted, you know, it, Dunn would have had more points than T because Dunn had the assist on the Earhart two-pointer. <laughs> Nardella wrapped up there by Baptiste. And... Speaking with Coach Stagnita, they also do a really good job of incorporating the new guys that maybe don't come from Maryland. There aren't that many. And Whipsnakes win another faceoff in that third frame. Got a two-pointer from Earhart to start it. Outscored Atlas 4-1. to one. And you look at the numbers for these two. Foreign territory for the Whipsnakes. I mean, they are used to the field tilting in their direction. 
And not just a tilt, right? It's just a heavy, heavy tilt. Whip snakes four goals on ten shots in the third quarter. And this one will go to Nardella. Nardella wins that faceoff as he popped it out for Abbott. Nardella was sitting right at 50%. We're in Long Island next week, Minneapolis after that. And then it's an all-star break in San Jose. It's a two-goal lead for Zantel. It is a hat-trick of hat-tricks for Atlas. Caraway, Costabile, and now Law all with three as Abbott. They got the timeout. As Evan with 43 and 410 seconds remaining. Big face off here, obviously. Nardella pulled it out and then he goosed it back. This ball will come to Muller. Uh oh. Nardella sends it over for Earhart. He was thinking about it. They saw the save 16 for Kick Cannon, 11 for Burnlore. This overtime will start with a face-off between Baptiste and Nardella. Baptiste has 10 face-off wins. Nardella has 13. So you can see, not surprisingly, the whips come back and run, kind of coincides with Nardella making up for that early deficit. He went 5-0 and in the fourth quarter. Atlas scored the last two goals of the fourth quarter, though. Law with 3.54 on the clock. And Mark Cockerton's impressive goal with 43.4 seconds remaining is the reason this game is in overtime. It has been tied five times. Baltimore. And Baptiste had it momentarily. Nardella knocked it out. Baptiste again, and it is Danny Logan. No timeouts in overtime. 